welcome back. So we did actually keep a band of clouds over most of our viewing areas, made our way through the day today. That really did keep temperatures down. We're currently at our high temperature for the day of 60 degrees, which is uh, about 10 degrees below where we should be this time of year. Wind is uh, funneling up the valley west-southwesterly here in Scotts Bluff at 7 miles per hour, but the main flow is northwesterly, and that also is keeping temperatures down. Current temperatures look like this, 55 at Torrington and Kimball, 56 out toward Alliance, 54 out toward Harrison, and a 57 at Sydney. There's your wind mainly from a north or northwesterly direction. Wind speeds right now around 5 to 15 miles per hour. And as for the cloud cover, most of us have partly cloudy skies across the panhandle, a little thicker clouds from I-25 and points off to the west. We are staying dry, though. Here's a look at the surface map across the region. So high pressure off to our west is still in charge of our forecast. So as long as it stays to our west, we're going to have that flow from a northerly direction, which will definitely keep temperatures down. And the back end of this low pressure system is starting to get into our viewing area, giving us the cloud cover, but the rain and even the snow is staying far, far, far enough to the north onto the Canadian prairies. This cold front continues to make its way off to the east, pushing that warm air that we had earlier this week off the east coast, and everybody is going to get in on the cool weather as we go through time. Here's a look at the skycast through the overnight. Uh, we will keep partly to mostly cloudy skies, maybe a, a few sprinkles out there, but most of us will stay dry. Lows falling into the upper 30s and lower 40s, and then as we make our way through the uh, day on Friday, we saw that strong northerly wind. Highs only into the mid-50s, and then the coolest air is overnight, uh, Friday night into Saturday morning. Saturday, just after daybreak, temperatures could be near the freezing mark, and then as we make our way through later on on Saturday, finally we start to try to flip around to a westerly, then a southerly direction. So temperatures back on their way up. Sunshine highs near 70 for Saturday. So we had the extremely warm air earlier in the week. We're tracking it into the Midwest, Northeast, and eventually off the East Coast. A cool pool of air is going to be over us. The uh, coolest of it is going to be uh, here Friday afternoon to Saturday morning. Temperatures 10 to 15 degrees below average. At times, the wind does pick up definitely from a northerly direction. And we're looking at frost and even freeze potential from this one. But as we make our way through the weekend, we will warm up once again with that ridge into the jet stream. And temperatures once again getting back into the 70s. Now, now, here's a look at the weather alerts for us. The western two-thirds of the Panhandle and southeastern Wyoming in a freeze warning. This is from Saturday at midnight all the way to 8 a.m. The eastern third of the Panhandle in a freeze watch from Friday at 11 p.m. to Saturday at 8 a.m. Uh, we're going to keep our eyes on this one. Our current models have low temperatures overnight around 30 to 32 degrees waking up for Saturday morning. Could put an end to the growing season here, but it definitely will into, uh, off to our north and off to our east. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Friday's high of 55, a little windy with that northerly wind. Mostly sunny, though. Sunny over the weekend, rising into the low to mid-70s, and then upper 70s on Monday and Tuesday, still sunny. For Wednesday, we're a high of 65 degrees as we do have chances for some rain Wednesday night and through the day on Thursday. A little breezy, cooler by next week, a high of 57. Angel? Thanks, Justin. Now to those price hikes coming from streaming services. Hulu, Netflix, and even Peacock recently announced that they are...